Well, scientists have developed a second skin that can sit on top of people's bodies, making them look young and also potentially delivering drugs to the skin beneath. Well, this material, it can be used to protect, to tighten the skin, to smooth out wrinkles, and also to deliver minerals, drugs, according to those behind its development. Now, it's been in development for about 10 years. This was something that scientists have been thinking of for a long, long time. But it, up until now, has been very difficult to try to create a, a second layer of skin that would be flexible, comfortable, non-irritating, and would move with your real skin without you really noticing it. So they've now developed this. It's kind of an ointment. And when it dries, it just forms this layer above the skin that you don't even notice. It's fully comfortable. They've tested it out on eye bags, eyelid bags under the eyes, completely basically making them invisible. Uh, they've tested it out on other parts of the body. It's had a similar effect. So really a giant step through, not just in aging, because obviously, you know, women, people get old with wrinkles, they, they would do anything pretty much to, to make the appearance of having less wrinkles and looking younger, but also to protect from the sun, to protect from ultraviolet rays, and also to deliver drugs and to hydrate the skin underneath. So it, it's a very exciting time, the fact that they've been able to develop this. As I mentioned, it's been in the works for about 10 years. I want to read you a quote from one of the researchers on the study from MIT, Daniel Anderson. Here's what he had to say. He said, it's an invisible layer that can provide a barrier, provide cosmetic improvement and potentially deliver a drug locally to the area that's being treated. Those three things together could really make it ideal for use in humans. That's Another sure. giant step through. I can't, I, the whole time you're telling me this, I can't think of anything other than Jim Carrey and the mask for some reason the whole time you're telling me this. But no, I think it's really interesting and I think it's cool. I'm wondering how somebody like me would use it. I'm really hairy, so like how would they get They'd probably have to shave my whole body. Well, first. I don't think you have to put it over your entire body. They tested it out on eyelids, they, eye bags. Oh, so it's so, in certain parts. So you can just put it, it's an ointment. So mm. wherever you put it, it will dry and you won't notice it's there. Yeah, that's cool. And, and the fact that it can like deliver medicine into certain parts, that, that, that in itself is also really cool because, you know, we talk about more and more like getting these tiny microcomputers and ingesting those and then those going through our bodies sometime in the future. So I think this is just part of it, you know, that technology and biology coming together. As one. It's a silicon based polymer. It almost seems like a no brainer to me. I was wondering sort of why I haven't heard that this was even in development beforehand because there's so much effort being put into making people look younger, stopping people aging. Why not just slap another skin even, on top even, of that? I mean, skin cancer too. I mean, for, for protection, the, the, the quote mentioned that, but like, I mean, protection, that's a huge thing right there. People are always putting all these chemicals and rubbing it into their skin, so I think, you know, this could really help that too. Well, it's certainly not stopping one from aging, but it certainly would help the appearance uh, and helping people look youthful, but also having the very important benefits, as mentioned, of protecting skin from the sun, delivering drugs, hydration, minerals to the skin underneath. It's been in development for 10 years, a giant step forward in the anti-aging process and keeping skin healthy forevermore.